Hey, I just wanted to do a quick video on the energy bar. It's that bar on the left hand side of the screen. You can see how it's the green is growing at the bottom of the screen. That's your regen braking line. And so that regen braking line, if you ever see it and there's like dashes along this section of it, that means either you're at a very high state of charge or your battery's cold. Um, this morning for me, it's 46 degrees, but the car was stored in the garage and I had the schedule set so that it would warm the car up and be ready to go. So I'm not having any sort of issues with the regen braking because the battery's warm enough to take that energy. At the top of the screen, you'll see that white bar. If I give it a little oomph, see it grows, right? That's your draw from the battery. And the green is your regen going back into your battery. So if you're driving around and you're stopping at stop signs, stop lights, and the, that green bar is not growing, you need to extend your braking distance. Extend it out a lot further so that you're not, you know, using your brakes instead of you're using your regen braking. Um, and that will increase your efficiency, it'll increase your range, all those kind of things. That's one of the one of the biggest hurdles of getting into an EV or a hybrid or any of those things is mastering the, the regen braking and just getting away from using your actual physical brakes as much as you can. You still have to use them. Sometimes there's hard stops, those kind of things. But overall, you know, I don't I don't really touch my physical brake all that often. Usually just if there's a traffic incident or something like that, because I try to start regenning way before an intersection. So um, yeah. So if you ever see dots on the top bar, usually your state of charge is so low that it doesn't pull as much power out of the battery any longer. Um, I'm trying to think of any other reasons why you'd have dots on the top, but it's mostly just if your state of charge is so low, or I guess if your battery is so cold that it will do that to protect itself. And that's when it limits the, the regen, it's protecting the cells. It does a lot of damage to a battery if you're charging it at a very, very low temperature, usually below zero Fahrenheit. I mean, even below 32, once the liquid in those battery cells freezes, it, just the efficiency of getting energy into them, out of them, goes way down, and then charging, you get more, they're called dendrites, but those build up more if you're charging in a very cold battery. I wanted to have us get to this next stoplight and show, you know, all the regen breaking. So yeah, all of that was all regen. I didn't need to touch the brakes at all, so, yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope that's helpful, and uh, have any questions, anything else you'd like to know about Teslas, leave a comment, and I'll try to leave a video for you. All right, thanks for watching.